Hey guys, Mary Meet. This is Anastasia Autumn Fire. Please forgive the messiness of my workspace that is behind this candle that is in front of you. I really wanted to do a quick video on this candle that I made for um, my witchy sister in arms, Kristen. Um, I and I'm obviously late in getting Yule gifts out because I am who I am, and things got crazy, and I didn't prioritize properly so I apologize I know uh, pretty Alice Moon Melissa I need to get your guys's gifts out I'm so sorry and I know pretty Alice Moon your birthday gift is in it too so I'm sorry I'm a terrible pen pal I know um, but today I'm actually exchanging gifts um, with my friend Kristen and I wanted to get this candle quickly made up for her um, she is, uh, she works a lot with the goddess Caridwin. I don't know if she's taken her as her matron. Um, I don't think we've ever really had that discussion. I think it's kind of always been an un, unspoken, uh, thing. So I wanted to make her, uh, a Caridwin honoring set. So I made, um, first I made a, witchy orb of sorts because they were all out of orbs at Michael's. Um, it turned out a little messy, but I really liked it. Um, and I think she will too. She usually likes, even though things look a little craziness, she usually likes things that look kind of uh, dark and otherworldly, and I kind of liked how that turned out. So that is her witchy orb. It says Caridwin on the front, in uh, which is alphabet. Then on back, I have a Caridwin chant, sell mother Caridwin, old mother let us in, fur and feather, scale and skin, old mother let us in. And um, I have her colors purple, black, and silver sealing in um, the offering as well as a certain spell uh, to connect to her. And then I made this candle and I absolutely adore this candle. I don't necessarily know why. Um, I really got in the zone with this and connected with this. I found um, an invocation for Caridwin and you can kind of see the words on the candle. Um, so I wrote and it fit just perfectly on the candle too so I got super excited about that. So I went and scrolled that all up on the candle and then um, I took some of the offering uh, mix that I had. This is what's left of it, um, which I'm going to put into an incense uh, jar for her. Um, we've got vervain, jasmine, uh, rosemary, mugwort, basil, uh, lavender, coriander, mugwort. I think I said mugwort. I'm Oh my goodness, I am sorry, I am completely blanking. So we've got vervain, oh, white willow, jasmine flower, rosemary, mugwort, coriander, dragon's blood, um, lavender, and I'm missing one. Um, yeah, white willow, vervain, jasmine, rosemary. Oh my goodness, I am totally forgetting something. Anyway, um, I don't want to keep you guys too terribly long here, so I will... Oh, basil! Basil, dear lord. Okay, there it is. Um, so that's what's in the herbal um, offering. So I sprinkled some of that around this ridge, and I put a little more than I wanted to on it. That's, even though it's around the edge, it is going to kind of be in danger once if she lights it um of smothering the the wick so I'm gonna have to warn her about that but then I secured that with those three color waxes I used purple white and silver and again black silver purple and I believe white are her colors um which also is a huge connection to my friend Kristen so the first uh candle that I used to seal the wax, I used this. It might not look like much, but it actually is my full moon 
protection candle. Um, so it's been dressed with protection oil. It's been the candle I kind of go to during my full moon spots. And um, I thought, and, and I really don't use it for this kind of work, but considering what kind of a craft it is and how close I felt to it, I did want to give that extra oomph, um, both with lunar energy, but also with that protection. Um, then I used a simple purple spell candle, uh, which I gave uh, the intent and duty of for honoring Caridwen and went around that. And then um, I don't have a little nub of it anymore, my um, silver sealing wax on top to seal in everything. So we've got lunar energy with protection as the foundation of the spell and the candle. Um, well, really, we've got the binding element with the black candle. Then we've got the protection of the white and lunar energy of the white. Then um, the specific intent of the purple with the offering and honoring of Caridwen. And then on top, I, I find putting sealing wax on top kind of works as a sealing agent for the, the spell as well. And of course, silver is very much associated with the goddess. Um, so it, it really feels connected to me. I, I really dig how it happened, how it kind of came about. Um, when doing the top rings for the drips, I made sure to go in a clockwise motion um, three times each. So again, we've got the symbolic number of nine um, connected to the candle as well. I'm going to put um, three stones on the top, a moonstone, amethyst, and onyx. All three of those are stones, I believe, that are... I know amethyst... Moonstone is tied to Caridwen. Um, amethyst is connected to... Um, amethyst is connected to uh, my friend Kristen very much. Um, I believe it's her birthstone, but also just smoky quartz, amethyst are usually her two stones that she just feels super drawn to. And then onyx, very much uh, about grounding and, and kind of building upon that foundation, which I, I like doing with, with spiritual works like this. So yeah, I just wanted to share this Caridwin honoring candle that will be a Yule gift for my friend Kristen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, now that the holidays are finally done and craziness can kind of subside, I'm very excited to get back to making some more videos and getting my focus back where it needs to be. So I hope you guys have stuck around. Thank you. And have a great day. Bye, guys.